Open is important because locking up valuable knowledge behind a paywall is a bad way to use valuable knowledge. Having the big block M on uh, a lot of high quality produced teaching modules that are made, being made available in the world probably does us more good economically than harm and is very, I think, very appealing. It's also mission consistent. So what's the business that we're in here? We, we create um, and distribute knowledge. We do learning and teaching. So it makes a great deal of sense that, that we would want people to get the benefit of what it is that we've learned and the benefit of what we've learned about how to, how to convey it. The sort of business mechanisms of, of what academics do and of teaching uh, tend to be quite consistent with, with having people paid to do their work and then figure out ways to give that work away. That's, that's fairly natural. With digital technologies and the existence of the internet uh, worldwide, the marginal cost of things is as close to zero as you can get. And so there's a very strong argument for pricing things that close to zero. Now there's a problem there because these things are nothing like free. Their marginal cost is zero. The cost of production is much more than zero. And you have to figure out how to pay for them. But there is a very strong argument for not charging for things that cost nothing at the margin to deliver. And I think that logic is part of what drives the interest in open educational resources and in open Michigan. Uh, and the fact that things really do cost money limits so far their reach because we have to develop new organizational forms uh, and mechanisms in order to pay for them. But for a very large fraction of what it is that we do, I think we're perfectly happy uh, giving it away. Uh, and the university has actually been extremely willing to support that notion that even though we sell the product uh, at not trivial prices to our own students, uh, giving it away, giving away the content of lectures and of courses um, is a different enough product that the university has so far anyhow, and I think it would continue, will continue to, uh, thought of that as a perfectly interesting, a perfectly okay public service uh, exercise following the lead of MIT. By engaging in this kind of activity with an orientation that's in part an orientation to uh, parts of the world that are less developed economically. Um, we provide opportunities and mechanisms for our students and our faculty to learn more of the world um, and contribute more to the world and I think that actually is, is very positive um, for a place like this one. So open is at the essence of academic work. Uh, and at the essence of the library and actually goes back to this principle of if the marginal cost of producing something is zero, the right price is zero. And that's the, again, the, um, the logic of open. And how does it help advance scholarship? Well, just as I described, ripping, mixing, and burning actually are the, um, the, the, the digital analogs to, um, digital analogs, cool, um, to um, citing and glossing uh, and commenting that have always been the mechanisms of scholarship. That last one was good, so I want a copy of that. Yeah, uh, no, I, mean, that, was, that was, <laughs> I didn't know I was going to say that.